Hello everyone, welcome again in Engman YouTube channel. In this video, we will do nodal analysis for an oil well producing under natural flow. And we will do the simulation with well flow software. We are now in well flow. Okay. You can check the configuration here. We will start do data input. Okay. First, we go to general data. In this section, you can input information like company, field, well, location, and so on and so forth. Okay. We are just going to leave it blank. We go forward. Well and flow type. Okay, well type producer. Artificial leaf method, none. Because we flow under natural flow condition. Flow type, tubing. You can also model annular flow and combine flow of tubing and annular. We select tubing. Fluid type, black oil. Well orientation, vertical well. Okay, apply forward flow correlations we will select hagedorn and brown standard model apply forward okay for reference depth we will select onshore well and zero depth at kelly bushing and the distance from kelly bushing to wellhead is 20 feet okay and then apply forward all right next we will input the fluid parameters, PVT calculation method, black oil, oil API gravity is 35 degree API. And of course, oil specific gravity will be calculated. Gas specific gravity is 0 0.65. Water salinity is 30,000 ppm. And water gravity will be calculated. All right, we don't have inorganics in our component. And this is the default correlation for bubble point, GOR, oil formation volume factor, gas viscosity, oil viscosity, surface tension. You can also go to PVT calculator. Right, you can input the properties in pressure, temperature, and produce GOR. And after that, you can calculate to obtain this information okay but we can input the pressure and temperature later on so we can just apply you see the symbol here it's checked so we can go forward forward now we will go to reservoir section all right we are now in reservoir layers data we will generate the ipr in this section we can do IPR generation using this one, layer parameters, manual, or based on testing data. Okay. In our case, we will select manual, but you can also do analytical method using layer parameters, or you can do test data and then input your pressure and flow rate data during testing to generate the IPR. Okay. In our case today, we will select manual. So the name of our layer, let's say this is called reservoir with reservoir pressure of 6,000 PSIA, temperature 196 with middle perforation depth at 14,000 feet, water cut 0 0.25, 25%, and GOR of 500 standard cubic feet per stock tank barrel. For IPR model, we will select Vogel, right? Vogel coefficient is 0.2. With productivity index, we will input manually and the productivity index or PI is 1.25, all right? Now we obtain our absolute open flow or maximum flow rate here, okay? You can see the IPR, go to IPR. All right, the IPR has been generated. So far, so good. You can leave this relative permeability section as it is, as per default, because it's not that important in our simulation today. 
All right, so for reservoir layers data already completed, we can apply and then forward. Now we go to wellbore section. First, the wellbore deviation, data type, MD TVD angle. So MD is measured depth, TVD is true vertical depth, and this is, of course, the angle. Enter data for MD TVD, of course. We click this one, the symbol, at row. Okay, in our case, we will model a vertical well, so it's very easy. MD, of course, equals to TVD. And the measured depth, the bottom is 14,000, which is the same with our TVD. All right, so of course, the degree is zero. All right, apply. And then we go to equipment. All right, for wellbore equipment, we will input the tubing and the casing. Let's assume we don't have any restriction in our well configuration. So we go first to tubing, enter data for depth, okay, at row. Let's name it tubing. Of course, it will start from 20 feet, distance from Kelly Bushing to wellhead, right? Of course, 20 feet. And then Endpoint measure depth, the bottom of our tubing, of course. The bottom is 13,000 feet with external diameter of 3.5 inch and internal diameter of 2.992 with absolute roughness as per default. Flow configuration, of course, it's a tubing flow. All right. And after that, we go to casing. We add row. Okay. First, tubing and then casing. We call it tubing not because it is actually a tubing. No, it's a casing. But this casing is located at the same depth as our tubing. So it will extend from 20 feet down to 13,000 feet. Okay. The external diameter, 7 inch, with internal diameter of 6.3. And then after that, we name it casing, starting from 13,000 down to the bottom of our well, which is 14,000 feet. Okay, the internal diameter is 7 inch, with internal diameter of 6.3, the same absolute roughness. Okay, we apply. You can see. Now we are ready to go forward. All right. After completing the wellbore data section, we go now to the temperature model. We can select manual, calculated, coupled, or calibrated. In this case, we will select manual. We add row. And I've prepared my data. So I just copy the data and then paste it here. All right. Apply. You can see we are checked, so we are prepared to do the nodal analysis. Forward. All right, this is the dashboard. We are ready. We have completed the data inputting, and then we can go now to do the nodal analysis. We go to analysis. Yeah, actually, we can also do tuning or matching pressure survey. If we have actual wearable pressure data, we can do matching to adjust our flow correlation. All right, let's recheck. Previously in flow correlations section, we select Hagerdorn Brown with well and riser L factor of one. This factor and also the correlation itself can be matched with the actual pressure data. But we will not do tuning in this video, in this case, on the other video, Hopefully, we can cover the tuning section. All right. So let's go directly to nodal analysis in analysis section. In this window, we will generate the nodal analysis. Nodal analysis mode, analysis type, operating point, because in doing the nodal analysis, we actually want to know the operating point, operating pressure, and operating flow rate. But we can also do pressure drop analysis but let's concentrate on operating point. 
and for the depth format we can select either true vertical depth or measured depth and please make sure that you check this stability check this is the calculation notes top node pressure at outlet node it is the wellhead pressure i'm going to choose 165 and the bottom node of course the reservoir the source of our inflow and the solution of course our bottom hole and then we need to set range to generate our nodal analysis we can set range based on flow rates you can directly input the desired flow rates in this section in the cells but you can also select this one percent of aof or absolute open flow all right i'm going to select this one i can click this one auto range to obtain this automatically but you can also do like this one i'm going to start from one percent of aof to 99 percent of our aof or maximum flow rate with steps 10 and then fill all right so this one is one percent of the aof and this one is the 99 percent of the aof okay click apply and then calculate all right so this is our nodal analysis the blue curve is our ipr and the green curve is our vlp very interesting so we can actually flow at this condition this is the results our operating pressure is 4088 psia this is the liquid rate oil rate water rate gas rate all right with the given water cut and produce gor status of our flow it's a stable flow and this is layer data the reservoir the pressure liquid rate water rate and so on and so forth very interesting and quite easy actually you can also see this one well bore equipment profile to know or to see the pressure profile as well as the temperature profile the green one is the temperature profile the blue one is our pressure profile starting from the reservoir pressure of 6000 the bottom hole pressure is around 4000 or actually this one the operating pressure the bottom hole flowing pressure right and then this is the pressure profile along the well bore along the tubing and this is the wellhead pressure or outlet pressure which is around 160 or actually 165 all right very interesting you can see also the report the well flow log also the analysis log okay very 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 interesting we are almost done but lastly we will do sensitivity analysis okay we go to sensitivity we will create two sensitivity analysis first i want to do sensitivity analysis based on layer pressure we will start from 6000 this is our actual reservoir pressure and of course the reservoir pressure will decrease so i'm going to add 5000 4000 and 3000 all right click add and then for sensitivity one we select this one layer pressure calculate we go to plot variables sensitivity variables and this one okay highlight everything and then click ok close the window all right so you can see at 6000 we can flow all right and you can see this one the liquid rate at 6000 at 5000 we can flow and this is the results you can see the red ipr is the ipr based on reservoir pressure of 5000 and as you can see at reservoir pressure of 4000 or 3000 there is no operating point which means the well cannot flow the well will die at this condition we might need artificial lift 
to enable the well to flow. All right. Okay. And then we also will do analysis or sensitivity analysis based on the productivity index. So go back to this section, click productivity index. And let's say we want to try three productivity indexes. First one, the base case, 1.25. Let's say we want to stimulate our well. So the productivity index will increase up to 2.5. And if our well suffers formation damage, let's say the productivity index will reduce down to 0 0.5 at, and then in sensitivity two, I'm going to select productivity index. All right. First, for sensitivity one, we select none so that we can concentrate on sensitivity two based on our productivity index. Again, calculate plot variables, sensitivity variables, highlight, OK. All right. So this is the sensitivity to productivity index at reservoir pressure of 6,000, the base reservoir pressure. You can see? All right. Of course, if we have productivity index, which is higher, we will obtain higher liquid rate. In this case, this is the result. The liquid rate can be increased from around 2,000 to around approximately 4,000 stock tank barrel per day. And of course, if you suffer formation damage, you will get lower productivity index. You will obtain lower production rate. In this case, you will only get around 1,090 stock tank barrel per day. All right, very interesting. And the good news, it's very simple. You can also do combined sensitivity analysis just by doing this. So for sensitivity one, select layer pressure. Okay, so we have two sensitivities. Calculate, plot variable, block everything. Okay. All right. Just in case you need it, of course, it is a very busy plot. So rather we will choose or we will do like this or doing at reservoir pressure of 5,000. Like this one, again, at 4,000. This one. All right, very interesting and easy. So in this video, we have created nodal analysis for an oil well flowing under natural flow condition. We generate the nodal analysis, IPR and VLP, and we also do sensitivity analysis for layer or reservoir pressure, as well as for productivity index. All right, that's all. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope the video is useful. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to press like subscribe and share to your friends and see you again in the next well flow videos thank you